Get this bastard open. She can't cheat with her rewind. Well, too late. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks it. this room up. <clears throat> Fancy <throat> filler <throat> crap. <throat> he must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Yeah, President. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Right, you hike that then, I take it. So... This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Kate Marshall presents the very best of the student. I'm going to read that after because it's an update. At Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBAY7 News. And our diverse religious studies, diverse even, group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has the, one of the best of Oh god, I tried to say the and best in the same one and it came out of breast. Oh god. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experience some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk to me for me further. I think it's important we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under the duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Update. At present time there is a security investigation into a com trial video allergy featuring Kate Marsh at Vortex Club Party has been uploaded on the internet without a knowledge or adding alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Okay. Only two more files to go. I certainly can't use this. Look at this pile. Okay, that's not what searching is for. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel Amber is the quintessential, I don't know what that says, student, or what it even means, representation of Blackwall Academy. She excels in, oh, she's basically the best. Or the most perfect in all her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that the sole mark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams of Blackwell as the fulcrum. This is out here, Chris Ross. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. Ah, okay. We always hope for that one magical clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for your help. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month. She's left no contact with students or faculty for the late, for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes to
for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and ad men to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willing for religion run to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray fainting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty belly and against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student. Black Rail, she attached police reports, expelled. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Now's your chance to get revenge on Blackwell. Oh yeah, I'm so bummed I don't get to party with the Vortex Club. There's still time. Especially with you around, right? Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Okay. Go, Miss Grant. I'm just gonna guess the principal wrote I'm not gonna read it out loud. You can pause it and read just because I think I know what it is anyway. Alright, okay, so yeah. It's good. Wow, sir. This will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Okay, so where's the last file? We need Logan's, right? Is it Logan's? Who the hell is it? Nathan. Where the hell did I get Logan from? Oh, from a message. I forgot. Warden? Or a message list. Hey, please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Weird. Hello, this Mr. asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay. Homeless fan. Nathan is also popular with students and facility, faculty. His stance is a proud representation of Blackwell. Oh, fuck off. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Max, as she prefers to be called, is a considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Wait, what, so, oh, Max, okay. Her GPA fluctuates. Yeah. I'm not even that tired and I'm saying bloody words wrong. And she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so. This is a common student suggestion, rather than a specific recommendation. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Morris from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. <laughs> Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy. A student with a consistently high GPA, an extracurricular activity is so to reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from f faculty. I don't know what faculty is. Does that, does that just mean teachers and staff? For her devotion to the Vortex Club, among her other organizations devoted to Blackwell's spirit and history. By the way, I'm reading it in that voice whenever it's just complete bullshit. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 
Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science of Langwell. He has the gift of or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some... Is that meant to be facility instead? I'm not sure. Some of us accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academ academic vision and continues on towards his bright future. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Go join her what? Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan that. Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's... Fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. <clears throat> Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Already been Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. Okay. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking no. the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the Shut powers up, of best right. friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. Uh -oh. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, here's what I'm thinking. Leave the money. Um, druggy goes mental. Steal the money. And the school goes mental and shuts everything down. However, the druggy might go mental anyway, whereas the school won't. So for that reason, I'm going to say leave the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get oh, the hell out of this office, Morg. Fund. I mean, I haven't seen a handicapped person in this school. They were obviously not doing anything with that money, so... I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. It would have, but it might have also made him bloody angry anyway, and the school would have been on lockdown. So, unfortunately, no, we're not going to go back. Because, uh, yeah. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you.
We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. No, you can't go back Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Desperate for my stolen backpack, quick school books, and new tablet. I need this for class. My tablet has private pics of my late cats. So I'll pay cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return them, back you have my contact info, please. I hope the otters will survive. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Where does that other sock go? Question on everybody's mind for you have and the ass. The wit, it burns. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Oh, those, these things are bloody annoying. Anyone Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Have you actually tried these? These are horrible. They're really horrible. And they, and they, oh, it's horrible. It's just really horrible. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. No, no, no. She looks like a monkey in the middle one. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Big picture. Ah. That's what it looks like, okay? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive in with Warren. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Has anyone tried that? I wonder if there's anyone in the room. Has anyone tried that, um, well, not tried, done that thing where you get tissue paper, put it on soap, and then throw it at the ceiling or something? Oh, it's. Sorry, weird. Rachel. And also, if you think about it, it's like at some point it's gonna hit someone on the head unexpected. Uh, and then, like, with your mates, you, like, I've Hello, you gorgeous. It. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Like this one time, uh, everyone, all the men so I piss bits were taken. So, one of my mates had to actually, like, oh, uh, had to, like, piss in the cubicle. Well, cool. cool. he says he was pissing. He might have been taking the shit, in which case, Oy! So, I, because I'm a bit of a dick, did that toilet paper thing that I just said about. Oh, by the way, you have to wet the um, toilet paper after. So, toilet paper, soap, wet. Um, so, yeah, it was just, I just threw it straight into the cubicle bit and the pink it 
landed on his head. <laughs> it's just so good. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Uh, Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Oh God. What are we doing at this pool? There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's Revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue oh, Kate. You did. Uh, Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. Nice. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Oh, she's gonna die. Now I'm getting cold in fear. She's gonna die now. She's gonna because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Shit, spam. Turn driving the shit. Move, Max! Don't waste your power on getting busted! Oh. my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they Anybody there? Come on, just get past. Thank you. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Okay. Just get out. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Invisible. Okay. Let's bail. 